Shalom, body of Christ. Today is November the 2nd, 2023. I'm going to start off in prayer. With the key of David, I place the cloak of invisibility over this communication, over our minds, bodies, hearts, and spirit, in holy Ashaya's name. Heavenly Father, I just state, I declare, Father, that your will be done and not our own, Heavenly Father. I petition the courts, Father, and I petition you, Heavenly Father, to cover this communication with our warring angels, Heavenly Father. Let this video go out to the body of Christ without corruption, without any complications, Heavenly Father. We ask you to safeguard the contents of this video, Heavenly Father, this announcement that you're having me make, all for your glory, Heavenly Father, but mainly to prepare your people for what is here. Amen. I want to start by giving also all the glory to Father Ahaya, Holy Yeshaya, our Mashiach, and Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh. Okay, so uh, Body of Christ, I'm coming on today because Father has awakened me again uh, consecutively. I put out a video yesterday and he has woken me up about the same time uh, this morning. So uh, most of you know if you are watchmen, watch women on the wall, you know what that means. You know that if Father wakes you up or if he gives you a vision, dream, or audible, back to back, he is speaking loudly. I have to come forward and speak this to warn everybody to sound the alarm, sound the trumpet. Okay, so this is what I was given. I was awakened again around 5 a.m. I did not record the time, but I knew, instinctively I knew it was around 5 a.m. Okay, at that point, Father, when he awakened me, he, uh, he gave me the words. I heard him audibly say, U.N., UN, 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 UN. He spoke that five times. I was then shown a vision of the so called peacekeepers, the blue hats that I've talked to you about here off of this podium. They were given the order to take to the streets. Some of them were refugees. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Some of them were refugees. Sleeper cells, disguised in peacekeeper uniforms. When they were given the order, okay, uh, I was shown one in particular, one particular refugee slash so-called peacekeeper, and he saluted with two fingers, okay? Now, I'm going to try to, um, hold on just a second. I've got a sort of go through these pages because I can't miss anything. I've got to cover everything. I've got to cover everything that Father is telling me to bring up here. Okay, so peace and security, as you all know, I have been speaking about the UN from my podium as Father referenced her to me as the, the honeycomb, right? Okay, so peace and security is the UN's slogan. They're also depicted in Hunger Games. This is all mana knowledge that Father has granted us, and I have shared it from this podium. Okay? Again, I want to give him all the glory. So let me uh, also come over here. This is also backed up by Scripture. For when they shall say peace and safety, safety also meaning security, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, pay attention to detail, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Father has been telling us to exercise our authority given unto us by praying in the Spirit, and warfaring to gird up our loins, to prepare for full-on spiritual war. We will keep the enemy at bay. Father's going to have me read this again in 1 Thessalonians 5, Thessalonians rather, uh, 5, 3 through 4. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day, that evil day, should not overtake you as a thief. 
Okay, let me just see here what he wants me to share next. Okay, so this stems from the original prophecy. This prophecy uh, was granted, well, I, I actually uploaded it on June the 13th, I believe, 2016. And uh, in it, you will see, because I'm going to add the link in the comments for you, okay, so that you can see for yourselves that Father granted us this, um, this warning of the UN and who she really is. Okay, she's the honeycomb. She's the one. She's the puppeteer. She's the one. She's the financier too. Holy Spirit just gave me. She's funding these refugees by by uh, equipping them with prepaid credit cards until they give the order to strike. I've shared all of this from this podium. Now, Father, um, then, as you can see on my screen, he had named the um, United Nations the honeycomb. Okay, so this was seven years ago. Catch that in the spirit. Seven years ago, we're there. Okay. What is the UN working on? On Agenda 2030. 2023. So when you subtract 2030 minus 2023, what do you get? You get seven, don't you? Please hear what Father's revealing here. The time is now. You need to be equipped. You need to be spiritually girded up. To be, to be strength for the weak, as Father has said. Those were his words. You must be strength for the weak. December 19th, 2017. Father had me share an update, okay? 2017. He's been having me watch the activity of the UN because this is the prophecy that he had me speak then, okay? You can see here, this was five years ago. Father had placed this video in my uh, feed, and I had shared it then. And again, I will add the link. I will add the original link that I shared from this podium in, uh, let me see here. Well, this was five years ago, December of 2017, yes. So I'm just going by my notes here, guys. Uh, Father's been having me prepare all of these bullet points for you so that you have an idea, so you have some context, as he did with uh, yesterday's video as well. This has been... This has been prophecy that Father's been having us hold on to because of the fact that it's happening now, right? So this is emerging now. These prophecies are coming to fruition, but they're happy, happening at an accelerated rate. So we need to be prepared. Father is telling us to be prepared, all right? Um, let me see here. Okay, so for both of those videos, I will add the link. And then lastly, I'm just going to touch on this. Father has shown me uh, in a vision Obama exiting the um, exiting a U.N. vehicle, as as you can see here pictured. OK, um, and he had two uh, military figures uh, next to him. OK, soldiers uh, packing AR-17, 17s. I, I'm going to try to find that video because I know that it was uh, meshed with a couple of uh, messages so I don't know if I actually entitled it Obama exiting a U.N. vehicle, but just please be aware of this. Um, as you know, Father has revealed a couple of things uh, regarding exclusively um, Obama, the Pope, and Trump. So uh, please be advised of this. But for whatever reasons, even then, five years ago, Father had me um, exclusively mention Chicago in this share, as you can see on the screen. OK, so be aware of that, too, because we know that these sleeper cells have been planted, um, you know, they're sleeper cells. So they're they're planted in these cities, these these larger cities uh, to cause ha uh, havoc. Right. So please be aware of the connection and the reference to Chicago. OK, so I pray that this blesses you. I pray that you would take every word spoken in Father's name to him directly. Um, but please, please, I'm asking you now, please sound the alarm. As watchmen, watch women on the wall, we have to sound the alarm. We have to let everybody know that the sword is here. Okay. Father said again this morning, he was, he was like screaming it, shouting it, I should say, shouting it. And he said five times he repeated himself, UN, 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 UN. Then I was shown a vision of the peacekeepers, the blue hats that I've depicted on here. OK, now you have to understand, why would a peacekeeper have um, AR-17s in their possession? Because if you go online, you can see them. They're all armed, yet they're declaring peace and safety, peace and security. Right. So um, 
they were given the order to take to the streets some of them were refugees sleeper cells disguised in peacekeep peacekeeper uh, uniforms okay he's having me repeat this to you so that you have it when they were given the order i was shown a peacekeeper and he saluted with two fingers okay so please be aware um i will try to um well, I, I'll try to find that other video where I mentioned about Obama. Uh, we don't know how this all comes into play. We don't We don't know. Uh, we don't know the exact events until Father gives them to us. But please, please be on guard because <clears throat> what Father is saying, excuse me, is it is here. It is here. It is at the door. So we need to be prepared, okay? Physically and spiritually, we need to prepare our homes. We need to prepare for a dark winter. We need to prepare for all of this. But again, Father does not give us the spirit of fear. He gives us the spirit of a sound mind, okay, and a sound heart. You have to be prepared. You have to, you have to buckle up, okay? You have to gird up and know that Father will send his warring angels to protect us. Please lean on his promises. I love you very much, and I give Father Ahaya all the glory. Please share this. Share this from your podium. Sound the alarm. We're, as watchmen and watchwomen, we are called to sound the trumpet. I give Father Ahaya all the glory, praise, and honor. Love you so much, Holy Ishashaya.